Hey guys, uh, Justin here. We're going to be working with uh, Marmoset Render and Quixel 2 in Photoshop. And what I'm going to show you what to do today is how to um, just work with this cape right here. We want to put an alpha map on it. So first things first, we need to go into Marmoset Render and we need to turn back face calling on or off so we can see both sides of it. Um, Then uh, we're going to open up Photoshop so we can open up Quixel 2 and we can start working with the model and texturing it. Now I've already made all my maps like my normal map, my color ID, and my ambient occlusion. So I've already done that and hopefully you have too but uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. So look, we're in Quixel 2. Let's load in the cape. Let's load in the material ID the normal map. Oh, I chose the wrong one. And the ambient occlusion. Alright, and let's create it. Oh, and I have it set for tool bag 2 because that's what we're going to be using as our preset. Alright, um, so it's still loading. Alright, let's get started. Now let's open up 3D so we can see what we're working on in the same space. And once that opens up, we're going to put our first material on. Alright, now we're going to use some cloth, cotton, yellow. And once that's done loading, it's going to apply right to our, our mesh. And now on the left hand side it opened up a little window. We're going to click on the yellow button so we can change the color of it. We're going to make it kind of a grayish, grayish green color to kind of match the scarf on the, the character that I already have. Now that that's done, click the back arrow and we'll just apply that to the ID. Now we're going to apply another material to it. I think that we're going to do just cloth again. arrow and then let's apply the, the ID. Oh, but first uh, we need to make sure that the resolution is matched. Um, I've already done this before. I'm just redoing it for this demo. But um, the density of the cloth was a lot smaller than on the other model because I made it a separate map. So I just had to bump up the scale a little bit. And now we're going to do it to the green cotton too. Bump it up to zero. Alrighty, and just put it below it. Alright. Now, uh, let's put some blood all over the cape. I think that'll look really nice on it. So just type in blood in the smart materials. Alrighty, now 
we're going to click on the mask and click yes for the full shaded mode. All right. Now, what we're going to do is, um, I kind of like the blood that's already on there, so I'm just going to start painting. So, to get that, ma that mask that I had for the blood, you just click on the third icon from the top next to the eraser, and you can choose your, your mask pretty much. And then you also want to make sure that the gradient slider is all the way to the white opacity so it shows up when you're painting because if it's black it's kind of it, that uses the eraser basically and then white adds your pigment and then yeah there's a bunch of different options in Quixel 2 for different uh, different types of brushes and to make your brush bigger or smaller just click the brackets on your keyboard near the backspace button and that'll make it go bigger or smaller. And uh, just paint away until you get something that you like. I'm just changing different sizes and um, I also have my opacity or my flow set a little bit lighter than just white because I don't want it to be just harsh red blood on there. I want it to kind of feel like it's soaking into the fabric a little bit. Alright, and when you're done, just click Accept Mask, and then it should be added in there. Now, I think that looks pretty good. I think that uh, we're ready to export. So open up the exporter, uh, set your path to where you want to, where it to go. All right, it's exporting to the file that I put it in. All right, now let's go back into Marmoset Render. Make sure you save your project too, in case you wanna go back and change it later. So now that we're in Marmoset Render, let's create a new material, and then let's go find our maps. So, I clicked on the normal map and I brought that in. Now we're going to put the gloss map in. We're going to put the albedo map in. The specular. And we're going to put the ambient occlusion map in. Alright, that looks pretty good. But it looks kind of looks kind of boring. It needs like a emblem or something on it. So we're going to open up Photoshop again and we are going to just add a little logo or something to it. So let's open up just the albedo map. And Something that I think would look cool is, since he's evil, maybe like an upside down cross. So let's create a new layer, and then with our marquee tool, or bounding box, whatever it is, uh, I'm just going to create the cross. 
And let's paint it red. A darker red for blood. And then we'll move it on. And I'm just going through blend modes to find something that looks nice. I think that looks cool. But I think that maybe a stroke on it would look good. So I need to actually rasterize the layer uh, so that the stroke is blended into the cloth too. So I did that and then the blend mode I'm going to choose is, I think overlay looks the best, maybe soft light. So we'll use that and let's save it out as a Targa this time. Open up Marmoset Render, click on the albedo, and then let's click on the cape. And I think that looks pretty good. So now I think the final touch that we need to do is we need to add some rips and tears into that cloth. So let's open up Photoshop again. And we need to make an alpha channel for it. So let's create the alpha channel. and. The best way to just get a little mask around it is I'm going to import the color ID map that I have because that already outlines it. And then those colors in there, I'm just going to paint them white because the white is what is opaque and the black is what's see-through. So once I have that, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put that into channels and then paste it in the alpha slot. Now that we have the alpha, we can start painting the rips and tears. So just grab your brush and select one that has some fibers to it. And make sure you go to black so we can start painting the fibers and the rips and the tears. And really just paint until you get something that you think looks really good. <clears throat> and Photoshop has a lot of different cool brushes that you can use. And you can cycle between white and black uh, if you mess up an area. Um, yeah. And now we're going to just test this out and we're going to save it out as the target again. But this time we need to make sure that we check the box that says 32 bits on it because that contains the alpha channel. So now we need to go into Marmoset Render, open up the transparency and make sure it says cut out. And then since we already have the diffuse map on there or the albedo, it's already recognizing it in there and it's showing the rips through the cutout. And you can use this method for anything you want. I've done it with feathers. I've done it with hair. Um, this is actually my first time doing it with a cape, but I think it's, it's going to turn out pretty nice.
So I ended up liking this brush a little bit more than the last one, just because it seems a little bit more crisp. So I'm just going to use this around the bottom. I'm also going to add holes inside of there. And really, you just kind of have to play around with the brushes until you find one that looks really good. But I'm finding out that just like a normal circle brush is working well. So I'm just trying to get little holes. And if I need to go in and make a hole look different, I can very easily. Now, I think I'm going to come through with a fibery brush now and make it look a little bit less cartoony. Alright, I think that looks good. Now let's export it out again, or save it out. Alright, that looks pretty tattered up. You got the nice blood and everything on there. Rips and holes. That cape looks like it's been through a war. So, I guess, guys, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to do some more tutorials. Um, but other than that, thanks, guys.